Today we're going to turn silver into gold and find out if blondes really do have more fun. Because I am an absolute total glutton for punishment and, you know, just having two jobs that don't pay uh, isn't enough for me, I thought I'd take on a third. And I'm creating yet another YouTube channel to talk about a totally different subject. I'm going to be talking about nudity on film. And this is me today creating my look for those videos. So if you want to check them out, I'll put the link up for you. Um, I don't want to talk about, you know, I don't want people who want to see makeup stuff to hear about that stuff. So that's why it's completely separate. And you know me. You know I'll make a video and talk about it and give you more information. <laughs> Since I've been a little sleep deprived lately, I'm going to add a little bit of orange highlight. This is Joe Blasco Orange Highlight. It's theatrical makeup. It's very heavy and I wouldn't really consider this for general wear. This would be something you'd break out in those situations when you haven't had a lot of sleep and you need to go out and look good. Uh, particularly if you're going to be on camera, it is a very heavy, heavy, uh, full, full coverage concealer. Blasco Orange Highlight 1 is terrific for camouflaging the slight blue tint that you have under your eyes. I paint it on with one brush and then I use this older brush that I find is just really handy for blending things out. A little e.l.f. High Def Powder. Okay, maybe not a little. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. For today's look, I'm doing everything in golden shades. I want to become the California Golden Girl Trophy Wife. Actually, if I wanted to become the trophy wife, I should have done it like, you know, 15, 20 years ago. It's a little late now. But that's the look I'm going for today. This is an old Borghese color that I have. It's got a lot of gold and coppery tones. It's called Cameo. Nice taupe on the eyebrows. And this is a wet and wild taupe. And then we're going to brush up and slightly out. I'm going to sweep a peach across my entire lid from lash to brow. For my eyeshadow color, I'm going with my NARS Laguna, which is part of the Orgasm Laguna Duo. It's meant to be a contour, but I always use it as an eyeshadow because I found that it's just a little teensy bit dark for my pallor. This eye pencil is unknown at the moment. I want to say that it's urban decay and I want to say that it's smog, but that could be completely wrong. There is nothing left of it. I can't read anything. I'm just going off of memory from quite some time ago. So that could be completely wrong and I apologize. For this look, I'm gonna go under the eye. And you can see I'm going right in that corner. I've got it right in the corner, but I'm keeping it at an angle to open up that eye rather than going across right under the lash line like this. I'm opening up that eye a little bit by dropping that line down a little. We're going with a classic dark, dark brown. This is a L'Oreal pencil in Cafe. With my angle brush, I'm gonna blend that top line. Just soften it, blending it slightly out at the ends. 
and then I'm going to bring this bottom line up to meet it. So you can see that's going to change the shape of the eye a little. We're going to get a darker tone right here in the corners. I'm going to add a little bit of MAC Earth to the corners as a give it a little bit more depth. We're going to take that same earth and tap a little of this for the shimmer right over this liner that we have right here on the bottom underneath the eye. I'm going to line the inside lower lash line with the Benefit Eye Bright. And right inside the inner corner. This is a coppery brown MAC color. I'm not putting that coppery brown on the top because it's got a shimmer and I don't really want to add a shimmer on the top. A little tight lining, black pencil. L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Something tells me I am going to have to go lip pencil shopping very, very soon. This brand is IOU and the color is their natural color. For my base lipstick, I'm using Revlon Color Burst and this is Pink Truffle. I like it because it's basically lip color. We're going to get some gold highlights with this ancient shimmer powder that I have. I think Revlon has gone to a, a cream or a liquid formulation for their skin lights now, but because I still have a full thing, I haven't purchased. So, but I love that it's such a, a rich gold, gold color. Right on the top of the cheekbones. Just a little up here. We've got the makeup done for our golden girl trophy wife look. Now let's get to the fun part. This wig is on loan from a friend of mine who is a wig maker and costume designer for big theatrical productions. So he loaned me a few things to play with and see what I thought and change up my look a little bit. Uh, these are not things that you can purchase, so I'm sorry. That's how we turn silver into gold. Now we're going to go out and find out if blondes really do have more fun. What do you think? Should I go back to blonde? I don't think so. But it's fun for a day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and drop your comments down below. And please give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. You have a great day.